Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to walk you through how to flash the STC-1000 with the STC-1000 Plus firmware that, that uh, Alpha Omega has so graciously developed. Um, and where you want to start is on the GitHub page that is linked from the Homebrew Talk thread and, and other places. This is the home for the STC-1000 Plus project. So what you want to do here is uh, look down to this to the right here and click this button download zip that's going to get you all the materials that you need uh, to to flash and use the SEC 1000 plus so open that guy up and uh, open the folder up that's in there and this Arduino file right here is what you need to do the flashing There's also the user manual and then other uh, hex files here as well but this are this Arduino file is what we need so I'm going to copy that and dump it on my desktop. Now, what you need to do here is create a new folder that is also titled pickprog. And then drop that Arduino file into that folder. And then start up your Arduino software with the Arduino Uno connected and click open. And uh, in that pickprog folder open up that piece of software so that's the firmware that that uh, Matt's has developed and you can from here if you want to just make sure that you have the latest version 1.04 which is uh, the latest as of this recording and you want to confirm that you've got the right board and com port selected so you want to go up here to tools board and make sure that uh, you've got Uno or whatever board it is that you're using selected and then you want to go to serial port and make sure that uh, the COM port that your your Arduino is on is selected in mine that's COM9 and then what you want to do is just click upload and so it's going to compile it and then upload it to the Uno okay so now that we got the Uno ready let's get the STC ready and all you need for that uh, really are these two items a screwdriver and a small knife so first things first let's take the new STC out of the box and uh, take out the temperature sensor instructions and the STC unit itself and so first thing you want to do is remove this small screw on the back what I'm going to do with this drill And pull this guy off. Okay, so now you need to take these little orange clips off of the STC. And then what you want to do, we're going to be splitting this thing uh, right here on this, uh, from the purple piece to the gray piece. So we need to cut this decal to be able to take it apart. So I'm going to take this knife Try to do this so you can see it, and just cut right down through that gap. Then you want to take a screwdriver and just pop these little tabs open on each side, and pull the STC apart. And then uh, at that point, you can access the the pin headers, but uh, I think it's easier to go ahead and remove this little front plate as well. It's pretty easy to do. You just pop this little tab open and the front comes off. So there you have the STC board. And uh, on the bottom here, right here, is where you'll see the programming header. These five points right here. Okay, so what we need to do next is connect the UNO to the STC. And there's two ways to do that. You can either solder in a pin header into the STC or you can do it without soldering. I'll show you how to do it um, with the solder method first. So if you're comfortable soldering, go ahead and solder in a uh, pin header into those, those five points we pointed out earlier. Uh, here you can see I've done that. Um, there's instructions in the user manual 
on which pins to connect where. So you want to wire up uh, the Uno to a male pin header like I've done here according to uh, what the user manual says. And then you just plug in that male pin header into the STC. Now, one thing to note here is you need to have a, a temp sensor connected to the STC board at this point or it'll go berserk when and start alarming that it doesn't have a, a temp sensor. So now you've got this thing hooked up and you're ready to flash. Okay, so now if, if you don't want to do the soldering and uh, you just want to flash once, this is a quick easy way to do it. Um, you just take the board and with the with the temp sensor hooked up, flip it over and uh, you can see right here are those five programming points on the back of the board. And so you want to take your male pin header and just line up the, the contacts on the pin header with those five contacts on the back of the board and you just press down. And uh, I do this without the Arduino connected so that I can get a good connection that I'm happy with. Uh, and then I plug in the Arduino to the computer and uh, that way it's all hooked up just like it would be when you soldered. If you don't do that and you make a bad connection with the Arduino plugged in, it'll freeze up and then you gotta start over again. So leave the, the Uno unhooked press the contacts against the back of the STC and then plug the Arduino in and proceed with the flashing process. Okay, now that the STC is connected to the Uno, we want to actually do the flashing. And so what you do is go up to Tools and select Serial Monitor. And so it's going to say hello and ask you to send D to check for STC 1000. What you want to make sure here is that uh, you have no line ending selected here and this baud rate. Uh, so type the letter D, hit enter, and that'll confirm that you've got everything wired up correctly. Uh, it'll tell you the version that you're flashing and you can select whether you want to flash with Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'm going to do Fahrenheit, so type the letter F and then hit enter and that will start the flash process. So it makes this mosquito noise um, for about 20 seconds and then um, and it's done. That's it. Now that we're done flashing, we're going to put this thing back together again. Pretty straightforward. Uh, just take your little front screen thing and pop it back on there and then take the body, the gray plastic body, slide it on, pop her back together again and there you go. So you got a flash controller, you're ready to install it in whatever build you're working on.